Okay, boys and girls. First, I want to apologize because I posted this assignment early this morning and I thought that you would be able to edit it the way that I posted it and apparently that wasn't the case. Amber, thank you so much, honey, for letting me know so that I can fix the problem. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get into the documents that you need in order to complete your brochures. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to click on classwork. Once you click on classwork, you'll see that it says writing social studies, uh, country study brochure. Um, it has to choose your own adventure. Most of you responded already. Thank you. I will be posting a video tomorrow to show you guys the next part of the book according to who voted for what. Okay, so I would like to work on the first page. So I will click on that. And basically, what I wanted to show you were the different things that you need to know in order to add information to the document itself. The document is there. And this will allow you to add information to the document itself. So if you look up here, well, first, let me show you this. So if you move the page around, it can shift and move out of place. I just want to show you how to correct that so that you don't get nervous and worry about the fact that it's out of place. So the first thing you're going to do in order to get that back into place is press Command Z and it will go right back. So that you don't have to worry about. Uh, the other options that you have are you can either scribble, you can use the scribble if you come up to this part right here, it allows you to use the scribble. And with the scribble, you can actually write into the document itself. Look, Miss Cruz did it. I am going to choose scribble and you could actually write on the document itself. I did scribble, but you could write letters. You could write, this is horrible. You guys know I do a horrible job on the Promethean board. This scribble option works well for those of you who are going to draw in the document itself. So maybe not on this page, but the page that has the image. Um, it has a little square where you can draw a picture. You can use the scribble for that. Uh, if you make a mistake, the way you can erase it is you just press this little arrow to undo. So just undo it. And it's super easy. The next thing that you can do is you can insert a text box. So the text box allows you to type onto the document itself. You can make the text box fit into one small area or you could drag it down to cover the whole section. I suggest you do it section by section, insert a text box for each section because it's just easier, it's less confusing for you and you won't have to shift the, shift the text around. You can type directly into it. So let's say uh, I wanted to type here, the people are wonderful uh, or the people wear indigenous clothes. So just as an example, you can type your information. If you see that the words are a little bit too high, you can actually press the arrows to bring them down to bring the text box where you need it to be. So you can press the text box and press the little arrow and it will move it where you want it to be. And then you can conti continue typing right and you can keep typing I'm just gonna type gibberish right so that's that uh, if you want to take the text box out you can click on it and then just click on delete and it will erase the box so I just wanted to show you how you can actually edit the pages so that you can do the work that we have to get done. Um, I love that you guys have been working so hard and you've been trying to finish up the work that I assign. I will be trying to post more videos so that I can show you directions on how to do things and I'll be able to teach you 
how to do things. If you guys have any other questions that you might, if you guys have any other questions about this, uh, just message me and I will help you along the way. Uh, to go to the next page, you click on there. Uh, and this is what I was talking about where it says an illustration of my topic. You could actually go here, get the scribble, and you can draw onto here. You could also insert pictures. So that's a horrible drawing. Um, I did a horrible drawing, but you could also insert pictures. So I'm just going to undo that. You could insert images. Let's say I want to find an image. Uh, I can search the web for an image. And let's say I wanted to do Dominican Republic. Or let's say I wanted to do Dominican food, right? Because let's do that. I could find something here, and let's say I want to do that picture. I can insert that image into my document, and I would take it. Wait. That's not what we want to do. I would take it and I could shrink it down because my image is bigger than my brochure. So by pulling the arrows, you shrink it down, right? I could keep shrinking it. I could move it in, move it over. And let's say I want that to be my illustration or my image. I could just put that in there and that would be my image. And then you can use the arrows to kind of move it around so that it goes to the right place. So you can do that. So again, you can go to insert image, search the web, and then you would be able to find an image that you can place anywhere in your document or where you want it to be. So that's the next option. I'm going to post this video. I hope it helps. I hope it allows you guys to understand how to do this. Um, and I'm excited to see the things that you guys do. Once you're done with your brochure, you can actually just click here to turn it in. And turn in. And I will be able to see it and I would be able to grade it. I suggest that you look it over, make sure that you check it to make sure everything's good. If you make a mistake and you submit it, but you realize you want to add some more information, you could click on submit and it would allow you to add more information. I miss you guys. I'm so proud of you and all the hard work that you're doing. I hope that we get to see each other soon. Bye-bye.